Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Gran Turismo 6. Today is episode number 40. If you guys do want to keep up to date with what is going on on the Mechanic CG channel, then make sure to go down in the description and check out all of our social links. We've got Discord, Twitter, and Instagram. Uh, and if you want to help support the channel, then make sure to hit that join button, that subscribe button, all that like button. And hopefully you guys do enjoy today's video. Right, so today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be taking part in the Super GT300 Championship. I had to remember what that was then. Um, and we're going to be taking the Rusty Trusty GTR R35 Touring Car. I don't know why I said Rusty. It's not Rusty. It's actually so powerful. For this, I've actually tuned it down. With a 50% power limiter. So we're run only running at 50% of the horsepower. But if you look at the little graph at the side here. After like 3000 RPM we're at max horsepower. Most cars will be at like 6000 before they're at their max power. So hopefully that's going to give us an edge over the competition. As well we have four wheel drive. And the main car that uh, like typical opponent is the BRZ touring car which is rear wheel drive and it also maxes out at 320 horsepower so hopefully we should be able to do very well in this um i have as well off camera done the 550 touring car with the gtr as well and absolutely nailed it uh i've still got to do this one but i'll do that off camera but let's get into the championship yeah this one the subaru brz sport 12 that's the one that we are hopefully going to be able to beat. Let's go. Deep Forest Raceway. I didn't even check what races we were doing. But most of them are four laps, so it's fine. Uh, so by the looks of it, we've got a BRZ. We've got an Anemia. Two of them. Um, we've got quite a few Cusco Subarus, which is interesting. Nice. Let's do this. Right, let's do this. Oh, wait. The starting layout is uh, side by side. Interesting. Oh, my gosh. I forgot. Okay, this car is feels very sluggish now. But the four-wheel drive definitely helps. That is amazing. Look at that. Look how well we can take the corners. That's insane. Oh. Little bit of contact through there. Not great, not great, not great. Right, so what we're going to do, we're going to take like a reference here. Eight seconds behind now. And we are going to see if we can get any closer. Perfect. Look at that. It's surprising how a um, Nissan GTR touring car can actually be downgraded by more than 50% power and is still able to pull like this. Come on, come on. Oh, a little bit of contact through there. Nice.
Perfect. Right, we have five more cars to overtake and two more laps to do it in. Nice, come on. I'm actually... I really am surprised by this car. It's doing better than I was expecting, that's for sure. And I think that is a BRZ as well that we were worried about. And it is going very slow. But that is a section where we will shine is through the corners because of that four wheel drive. Nice. And obviously we've still got the exact same brakes as well. And these brakes were designed to stop a car that had 600 horsepower. So technically we've got much better brakes than anyone here and we can rely on those to get that later break in. Awesome. Right, slow down here because we always keep going wide there for some reason. But look at that. Very good times there. Right, and slowing down here for the final corner. Coming onto the main straight. And across the line, first place. With quite a large distance as well. I'm very pleased with that result. That gives me good hopes for um, the rest of this championship, actually. We'll take our 37,000. We'll take three stars. And move on to the second race. Which is race number two of the Super GT300. Fuji Speedway. Awesome. I'm excited for this. Right, let's do this. Going around one of my favorite tracks of all time. Right, we're going to let him go ahead. Because we can then rely on his slipstream to get us some more speed. But he's gone too far ahead. And there you go, see? Relying on those amazing brakes for that late break. And I forgot to shift. So uh, they all got away. Bum, bum, bum. The fact is I can actually see where the cars ahead are. So I don't have as much of a panic. I used to think this track was massive and I remember distinctively it being a massive track but I think it's just the really long straight that just makes it feel big. There's a car on our left trying to overtake us but we squeeze past the right of that BRZ there. Going past the Casco Impreza and I think we got another Casco Impreza in front of us. Come on, come on, come on. Awesome.
That is perfect. Right, so I have a feeling these cars are going to start overtaking us. We're going to try and rely on the Impreza slipstream to give us as much extra speed as possible. There you go, see? Get out of my way. I honestly love the Fuji Speedway so much. Awesome. Right, slowing down here. I think that's an RX-7 in front. That RX-7 got really close to my behind there. Perfect. Nice. car behind the RX-7 is catching up and has used our slipstream like crazy. But now he is trying to get past. We're going to use his slipstream. Oh jeez, I did not expect his car to be that quick. But, as we are ahead now, and we always gain distance on the corner sections, I feel like we could use that to our advantage to get enough distance that he won't overtake us on the final lap. Hopefully, anyways. Nice. Perfect. That was a very good corner there. It's a very weird sounding engine when you're only running on, like, minimal horsepower. 50% we're running at. The fact is, most of International A is basically now GT Sport. It is literally all that GT Sport offers. It's just GT3, GT4, and prototypes. That's it. Right, I think the car behind has caught hold of some form of slipstream. Yeah, they have. They're catching up. Nice. Perfect. Right, this is the final time we're going around this tight section now. This is where most of our time needs to be gained. Perfect. 
perfect. I think it is mostly circuit racing at this point onwards. There we go, very nice. And across the line. Seven minutes for that race. That's a very decent time. And that is Mount Fuji. Is it Mount Fuji? No, it's just called Fuji Speedway, isn't it? Well, that is the Fuji Speedway done. Three stars for that. Awesome. Right, let's go to the third race now. Which is going to be race number three. It's going to be at... Suzuka. Nice. Right, let's do this. We are at Suzuka now. Why did my AI card decide to break so I would end up being behind this guy? That is not fair. Though, I prefer that tactic. But, we're still going to complain. Because we're British. Oh. What are you doing? We're looking for every single opportunity to overtake today. Perfect. Right, here we go. Coming up behind the BRZ now. That is a very tight corner there. Is that someone trying to pit me? That is toxic as hell. Right, let's see if we can catch up with these two cars now. And hope that that VRZ doesn't uh, try to destroy us. We've got cars on both sides there. I'd slam hard on the brakes there. That was like a major emergency situation. Right, there we go. Lap number one done of Suzuka. Let's go on to lap number two. Got RX-7s coming past here. Come on, come on, get through. Nice. Perfect. That was very good, that section there. Still trying to catch up. We are gaining time on them. And I think me and the RX-7 are sort of using each other to try and gain that time. Perfect. We go slow down. That was very good.
And we have a car on the inside again. On both sides again at the exact same section. Bit of corner cut in there. Nice. Right, so we are four seconds behind now. Hopefully on this lap we can get to within one. Hopefully, within one second. Come on, come on. Let's do this. Right, we are catching up. Very good. I think these are both in pretzels as well. Yeah, they are both the uh, Cusco in pretzels. Relying on you. Ah, uh, you're not moving out the way. Slingshot. That is how it's done. Come on. Perfect. We are now in first place again. I feel like the four-wheel drive is definitely helping us in these races. It's helping a lot. I don't see why I bothered with um, the G, G37 and the Megan for the other ones. Because the GCR was just better in every way anyways. Come on, let's do this. Perfect. That is very good. Oh, shift up. Got to remember that. Oh, not great through there. Perfect. Here we go, slow down, slow down. Come to Chicane for the final time. And there we go. Across the line. What was our final time? 8 minutes 46. That's a very good time there. Right, let's move straight on to the next race now. 
It's going to be race number four. Nice. Point rankings. 100 points for that. Let's go. We are in first so far. What is this track going to be? Twin ring. That is a very nice track. Right, let's do this. Twin ring. Why are we now behind the Lexus? You should be ahead of the Lexus. Thank you. This car feels so slow, but then when we do like... I think I'm going to do like the win with this car. Uh, because obviously a thousand more power, that's like overpowered. Um, but when we do like the win, that is going to be absolutely crazy. Here we go, slow down here. Perfect. Nice. I would genuinely love to drive one of these cars. Because they don't seem too powerful that they'd be impossible to drive. They're not like, oh, you'd end up wrestling the cars. But I'm pretty sure these would be quite easy to drive compared to other cars. I know uh, Le Mans cars, even though they're fast, they are built to be very easy to drive. And they are insane, the amount of technology that goes into those cars. You can basically drive Le Mans cars while you're half asleep. Alright, two more cars. And I think it's both of the Subarus again. Both of the Cusco and Pretzers. Oh no, it's an RX-7 in first now. Awesome. Right, go, go, go. Peggy Circuit is such a nice track. We got a car coming up on the inside here. Watch it. Nice. What are you doing? The game black screened on me there. Here we go, here we go. Ooh, very late break in. Oh, 
Obviously, this track has a lot more straights, so it's going to be a bit more of a challenge for us because our car doesn't like straights too much. It's not very quick on straights because of the extra weight, but in corners, because of the four-wheel drive, it can get crazy acceleration out of the corner. And even more crazy cornering speed too. Like the speed we can take corners is much higher than the other cars. It's this next straight that we have to worry about. See, at the start of the runway, the start of the section, 1.4 seconds. By the time we get near the end of the road, we've lost at least half a second. Nearly lost it there as well. Right, let's do this. Final lap. Let's see if we can get the fastest time yet. Right, let's do this. Final stretch. Onto the brakes. Perfect. There we go. Final lap was the slowest one yet. Interesting. Eight minutes and three seconds though. Very good time for the race. Let's uh, quit the replay once it's done. Oh, I think my game's crashed. There we go. 41,000 credits, three stars. Moving on to the final race of the championship. And we are nearly 175 points ahead. So we could technically just quit this. And we will come out with a win. And we are on the Nürburgring for this one. I have a feeling it's... Right, here we go. We're on the final race now. The Nürburgring circuit. The smaller one. Five laps of it. I kind of don't like this circuit just because it's got that little, like, I don't even know what to call it, tiny foot. Well, we overtook way too many cars then. That was like most of the pack in one go. But it's this section. Stop crashing into my car. Here we go. That section is always a really tricky section to do.
to be honest, I kind of wish it was only four laps of the big circuit. Because it misses my favourite corners, which is the long sweeping hairpin at the end. That's my favourite corner of the Nürburgring of this GP circuit. And they just cut it out. Just like that. Complete disregard for the corner. Nice. Perfect. Right, let's see if on this hairpin corner, uh, or this tight corner, it's not quite a hairpin, but on this tight corner, we're going to see if we can overtake anyone there. Can't overtake, but we can get right behind close enough that we can start slipstreaming again. Let's get past the Cusco Impreza. And stick it behind the BRZ too. Can we get past the BRZ? Judgment of breaking zones isn't a strong point either, apparently. Not today, anyways. Right. We have the next three laps to catch up with two cars. And to be fair, those two cars have been battling for... Oh, there's a car overtaking me now. Those two cars have been battling for a while, uh, back and forth. So I have a feeling they're going to stick together for quite a while. Which gives us a chance to catch them both at the same time. If we catch one, we'll probably catch the other the next corner. Very nice. That sneaky BRZ coming up on the inside though. Nearly flipped my car through there. Awesome. How far behind are we then? 3.5 seconds. We'll find out at the start of the next lap if we're catching up or not. a lot of time there. It may not look like much, but we definitely lost time. How much did we lose, though, is the question. Oh, any point three. Why is the BRZ trying to crash me off the track? Okay, we are catching up. We are catching up. There is hope. Nice. Catching up with the Cusco and Pretzer. And we have overtaken the Cusco and Pretzer. Right, now it's just the RX-7 now. All 
Right, and hard on the brakes here. Right, let's see how much slipstream can we get. A little bit. I think we've actually caught on to it. Right, we are in first place now. It is the final lap. This is it. Ah, oh, this is going to be an intense end to a race. Right, and slam on the brakes. Second gear, perfect. And the PlayStation has only just started overheating. Lovely. Lovely jubbly. Here we go. Perfect. Come on. Come on. Right, make sure that car doesn't come and overtake us, but no, they haven't, and there is the win. Look at that. Seven minutes and 50 seconds. Right, let's take our reward for winning the race, first of all. No, are you just going to load a replay for... There we go. Right, we're going to take our 43,000 credits. It's very good. We've earned about 200,000 so far just from this race. And now let's see how much we get for the championship. First place. And we get ourselves 40,000 for the championship there as well. Nice. First in the championship. Let's go. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe. If you want to keep up to date on the Mechanic CG channel, then be sure to check out the description for our social links. We've got Twitter, Discord and Instagram if you want to go check all of those out. Uh, if you want to help support the channel, make sure to hit that join button. Or you can go and grab yourself some merch. Either would mean the world to me. But thank you guys so much for watching. Peace. I know I'm yours